if my daughter is selling fat cakes here at home? Why would I go and buy fat cakes next door? I'm going to try the best I can to be fair to you as a witness because I try to be fair to all witnesses. The Board of South African Airways, including you, decided to cancel a tender that had already been awarded to LSG Sky Chefs and instead to award it to air chefs. Do you remember that? Oh, Chair, I like that one. I, I, there is no way that I would not remember. That was one of the best decisions yes, that I okay. made at SAA. Air chefs had previously been providing the service and was doing so to great customer dissatisfaction. Were you aware of that? If my daughter is selling fat cakes here at home, why would I go and buy fat cakes next door? And then if I decide to go and buy fat cakes next door as a parent, am I not supposed to tell the child that I don't like your fat cakes, this is how you should do the fat cakes, then please uh, correct here and there and so on. So the reason why I'm saying it was irregular is because that tender should not even have happened. We would, they, they, we would have created a precedence for that. The responsibility of the parent is to guide the child, to say, you're not doing right here. Then do like this and this and this. Not uh, to do what Ms. Mushe uh, was doing. The letters are there. We have you will the respond after she has finished. She allowed your client at your request, we allowed your client to address me. She addre she, Ms. Hofmeyer never interrupted her when she was addressing me. Ms. Hofmeyer never interrupted you when you made a request. Why are you interrupting her when she's addressing me? Not doing justice to yourself. You are a professional. You are a, you are a chartered accountant. Clients out there trust that you can do your work as a chartered accountant properly. I don't know how many times I've explained simple things and tried in order to be fair to you, to say, please, just answer the questions that are being asked. Now, you can't tell me whether you know or you don't know whether you asked Ms. Mshe to, to, to substantiate her figure or to give you evidence. You keep on wanting to tell me something I did not ask. It's not going to be good for you as a witness. And if, I'm going, if I make an adverse finding against you as a witness, it could have far-reaching implications for you professionally. So I'm asking you again, please just listen to questions. Try and answer the question. If you don't know, say I don't know, it's okay. To the board is the submission. Okay, Which, Ms. Ms. Mbanjwa. Ms. Uh, I'm sorry, Ms. Mbanjwa, Ms. Quinana. Please carry on. Uh, Thank you, Chair. Uh, if you were a decision maker at SAA in regard to a certain tender that has not closed, mm. uh, would, were you permitted to communicate with somebody who comes from a company that has put in a bid in regard to that tender? If they meet, what are they talking about? If they are not talking about so this is tender? So you, are, you are you reaffirming that your answer is they were permitted, they would have been permitted to communicate? The decision maker would have been permitted, entitled to communicate with that person as long as they did not talk about the tender? Yes, sir. So if one of the bidders wined and dined decision makers and took them on planes and drove them around in limousines while a tender was open, that would all be okay provided they never spoke about the tender. Is that right? It's difficult to deal with the procurement policy as it is. 
so you cannot apply the procurement policy when it's difficult to do so. Is yes. that your evidence? Not when it is difficult, when it is impracticable right. to do it. So you, as a member of the board of SAA Technical, may not apply the procurement policy of SAA Technical when it's impractical to do so? Of course, if it is impractical, how are you going to apply it? You can't apply it if it is impractical. This resolution, basically, for me, it is noting the contract duration and approving the terms and conditions. Yes. yes. Now, did you not so, approve so, the contract, the, the terms and conditions of the contract then? Yes, we approved you the did terms approve. and conditions. So how could you approve a contract that you did not know? Chair, I didn't think that this is a contract. I thought we were approving only the terms and conditions, not the whole contract. The whole contract would have the whole lot of Ms. Queen Nana. Nana. the price and everything. Ms. Ms. Queen Nana. And then the terms of conditions. Ms. Queen Nana, you are a chartered accountant. You are a chartered accountant. You have said you have you approved this contract. Initially, you said you don't didn't know about this contract. You are shown a resolution. You accept that you 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 approve the contract. Now, what are you saying? I'm you say saying, you don't know the contract, you know I'm the saying, terms and conditions. I'm saying, Chair, my knowledge of the contract. Sorry? I'm saying, Chair, my knowledge of the contract. When Ms. Hofmeyer is saying, I am approving the contract, the contract will start from page one up to the last page. However, the terms and conditions would be part of the contract not to the whole contract, and therefore... Sorry. Precisely because the terms and conditions of a contract are part of the contract. It is precisely because of that that you should know the contract if you say you approve the terms and conditions. What is perplexing is that you say you don't know the contract, but no, you know sorry. the terms. Sorry.